how they do coronavirus testing. So I am literally a guinea pig. What's up? It is Taylor and today is going to be a quarantine vlog. I'm really excited So we've just been kind of quarantined at home and it's kind of been interesting We still have this trampoline in our living room. We filmed a summer show video with it a couple days ago We have not been able to get off. So it's definitely been super fun. Let's see what the girls are doing Oh, she's not in here. Okay Lexi oh. <laughs> Our room is kind of a disaster. Wait. <laughs> we got super lucky because today is in the 60s. Ah! I put on short sleeves for the first time ever because it's warm outside, you guys. It's a little chilly. I kind of have some goosebumps. I'm gonna go back inside now, but it is actually warm today and it has been the most amazing thing in the whole world. If you live in a place with warm weather, be grateful for it. Okay, you guys. I was just jumping on the trampoline. I was just doing some tricks and I wanted to show you some of my favorites. Number one is my front foot. Number two is a peanut roll. If you don't know what a peanut roll is, it's kind of like this. Okay, so that was like kind of what it is. Number three, car my favorite trick in the trampoline. Okay, today I have been jumping on the tramp because it's like really, really warm outside. It's like 60 degrees and it's really sunny and yeah. I've just been laying on the tramp and jumping on the tramp. Not this one, but the one outside because it's really, really fun. So, my birthday's coming out. It's like this month. Well, today, while we're vlogging, it's March 31st. So it's technically April, but not really. So, I've been just planning some of my birthday, even though we're still in quarantine. I'm still planning it. It'll probably be in May or June. But yeah, some of the day I was decorating this. I'm obviously not gonna do this for all of the cups for my birthday, but I just wanted to do it because it took a really long time. So it's like a little grass skirt, even though it's blue. And there's little flowers on that I printed, and it's so cute. The flowers were supposed to be a lay, but it didn't quite fit, and it didn't look right either. So I just put it around the grass skirt, and yeah. Okay, with everyone staying inside, we've gotten a little bit desperate. So one thing we decided to do is try to start heating the pool. So we're trying to heat the pool. It was 38 degrees, and I just barely got some new thermostats because I wasn't trusting the systems. Let's see how, after like three days of heating. We left the thermostat for like Let's see how warm the pool really is. It says like 59. Yeah, about 59 degrees. Whoa. That's awesome. So it was off by like seven degrees. Okay, I bought two of these, one for this hole and one for this one over here. Let's go check the other one and see how accurate it is. Keep it covered to try to trap some of the heat in. Outside, how warm is it right now? Like Probably six. about 60. The high, yeah, the high was 60 today. So it's like the temperature of the pool has been kind of the same as the air. Like if the temperature goes up, then the pool goes up. Yeah. If it goes down, it kind of stays there. Yeah. We're heating it, but like. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's check this one. Okay, this one says... It's about 59. About 59. Okay, we are up 21 degrees now, which I'm super stoked about. Oh wait, I thought it was 22. Well, it started at 38, and now we're at 59, so you do the... Oh, oh. Uh. Uh, yeah. Okay, what is going on in here? We're remodeling in the bathroom. Woo! Bathroom makeover! So we down. It was things like leaves, the towel, what's it called? The towel rack. Very out of date. And like, oh. so there's just like holes, at, like these random holes, like, there was nothing even right there. And then we have all these just giant like markups here. Yep, so and Taylor took bathroom. off the towel rack and that towel rack. This was the towel hanger. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so we're wiping down walls, putting some spackle in the holes in the walls. Spackle is what fills in the holes. the holes. So like these, and there's just kind of random holes like this around this bathroom. So here's the before. Dun, da, da, da. Go in and show this bathroom. It's the craziest one. There's this giant hole right here. Giant. 
Yeah. And this is right here. And that was in there. And then you'll notice Jules likes to chew the baseboards. There's water the damage all over. Yeah, Jules been She's chewing that. Out how to climb under oh wait, the door everyone door. moves. Yeah, she can climb under this door. Crack. This was, I had an idea to put up scripture quotes so they could read them when they go was to the bathroom. Was there wallpaper up? This was James 1.17. Yeah, the bathroom is green, But it didn't really last, we didn't do it. Lots of water damage down there too. Yeah. Let's replace all that, woo! woo! Okay, good morning. It is April Fools. What happened to your face? Okay, so last night I fell asleep and Taylor comes to me and she was drawing on my face and I thought it was her hand just just tickling this. your face, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, yay. Because we love that, Thank huh? You, Taylor, and she's like, yeah, oh, good so night. That's so rude. She's like, I was just I wishing you good night. Yeah, she told me she was just wishing me. Night. But I thought it was her finger doing it, but she was drawing on my face. Oh my gosh, and it was like 1.30 a.m., so it already was April Fool's. Michelle, hi. Hi. You're looking so cute this morning. Is this an April Fool's joke? I'm just kidding. Uh, look at London's face. Okay, chicken nuggets. Kyle and I are on our way to the hospital for something actually really cool. I'm excited to show you guys. Kyle has been invited to be a volunteer. What's up? What's up? By his brother. His brother works for Intermountain Healthcare and has a really awesome position. I think he's the head of PR. I always forget his exact title. But anyway, whatever he does, he was able to invite Kyle to volunteer to be a tester for the virus. I'm gonna go get around. a coronavirus test, baby. Yes. Gonna go get tested. I have zero symptoms, but I'm gonna go get tested. Cool, huh? So anyway, I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna show I'm a It's for a press release. So this is the largest healthcare infrastructure in Utah, Inner Mountain, and they're doing a press release to show just news agencies and other media outlets how they do coronavirus testing. So I am literally a guinea pig. What? Here's the question. What happens if the test shows up positive? What are you gonna be thinking at that point? Kyle's that disease. That would be crazy. He's a terrible person. But like you said, he has zero symptoms, so I don't think it's gonna show up positive. But it's kinda cool he gets to get tested anyway. Maybe I should see if they can test me too while we're here. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. We just pulled up. Okay, we just got here and the door is locked. So what does this mean? I don't know yet. Hopefully we can get in. We're gonna call Ethan. Okay, turns out we are actually here 45 minutes early. So we're gonna go grab some food and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we just got some food. We got Zao, we got some fizz. And we're ready to be tested. Come on, come on, show up negative. I'm ready to be tested. Let's go. Okay, so we are in the Intermountain Healthcare building right now, and it is just beautiful. I mean, it's super spacious. It's really empty. We're about to get started with the presentation in the media room, so check out how cool this is. So look at this. I'm assuming this is where the testing is gonna be done. But this is where they're gonna be broadcasting to the media, so super exciting. We're inside the press conference room where it will be happening, and here's the backdrop, and look at the lighting here. It's super cool, here's the camera, and Kyle's about ready to be Ethan. tested. <laughs> you see that red mark on my Q-tip? That's how far it goes back. So it goes like into your nasal pharynx area, and I have to stick it back there and twist, 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 pull it out, and then I have to do it to your other nostril. Okay. And the same thing, stick it in there, twist, twist, twist. What? Okay, so here is the workspace up here that Ethan, this is Kyle's brother Ethan, by the way, introducing. And here's his cubicle. Nobody's here right now, it's like a ghost town. So here's his pictures of his children and his wife, Rachel, who I love so much. And then, boom, this old cell phone. Isn't this cool, guys? This is what cell phones used to look like. If you're watching this on your cell phone, can you imagine carrying one of these things around? Look how fat it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. The reason we've been killing a little bit of time is because the governor is doing a press conference and one of the counties decided to do a shelter in place order. So they did a press conference. Too many press conferences at the same time. We will not compete. Okay, the countdown is on. It's gonna start in about two minutes. <laughs> Deep breath in and out. Very good. 
job. How did you say it felt? It's really just really steamy. It's really bad when she had the swab in there. How long did it sting for? We need to probably five seconds. Okay. Here's my actual test. They're not going to process it because I told them I don't want them to be stealing valuable resources to run a test on someone that has zero symptoms. And to be honest, I've been super careful about social distancing. But I did want this. I don't know if you can get a good shot of this, Michelle, but you can see they're supposed to stick it into your nose this far down to the red line. And to be honest, I think she did it even farther. That is so far. So far, yeah. That was cool that you were the best one she'd ever seen. Like you flinched the least. Yeah. Good job. I wanted to make it look like it's not super uncomfortable so anyone that does have symptoms and is going in won't be scared because that's the last thing I want people to be is scared. Right. But yeah, it's definitely it burns when it's in there but after that it's nothing. So at the same time, you don't want to try to be tested just for fun, whatever. Like if you have symptoms, for sure go be tested. But if not, it's just no need to go through that. So so yeah, there's a couple of good symptom checkers. Apple has a really good one. If you're in Utah, use the one that Intermountain has because then you'll be able to just get testing done as part of the seamless process. But yeah, there's good symptom checker apps. Okay, we are home now. And Lexi, what have you guys been up to while we've been gone? We did school and then we made banana bread. Woohoo! So the banana bread is cooking. Taylor helped a lot with this. Sorry, the oven is so dirty. <laughs> Look how delicious. It is so good because I've been eating it. And Lexi's been making smoothies like every day. The family that cooks together, eats together. <laughs> together looks amazing. Looks together. Looks, looks together, amazing. Looks together. What? A little update. Kyle and I are meeting somebody at our lot because we're gonna build a house, you guys. We're so excited and it's been a long time in the works. Kyle has actually created the house plans. Kyle, can I show the plans you created? These are the plans that Kyle created. What do you guys think? It's like a sketch. It's just kind of a little sketch, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Here's the whole plan. We have some really, really, really exciting things in the plans we've been talking about for a long time. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's gonna be a fun journey to follow. So right now we're gonna meet the architect and see what he has to say about it. Taylor's having some back pain. Where's your back hurting? Everywhere. Everywhere. So Kyle was just checking to see if she had meningitis. So he said, can you touch your chin to your chest? And she's like, oh yeah, I can do that. And he's like, okay, good, you don't have it. It's a really quick test to make sure you don't have spinal meningitis. Show us how you do it. Yeah. You just touch your chin to your chest. You just do that. I was thinking about it and I was like, I don't think I've ever done that before. Like, can everyone do that? So I started trying and I was like, I literally can't do you it. You see this, you go out. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, what do you do? You like, look up. See, that you make it look Your easy. Your hair's in the way. I've been trying, so I'm like, okay, out there. <laughs> Michelle or, cannot or touch her chin to her chest. Do I have, what's wrong with me? I don't know, I almost what's said because you have no chest? neck, but you actually have a cute long neck. I think it's because I have a long neck. So, uh, like, you can't, it doesn't need. It might be. Right, can you touch your chin to your chest? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna my hair back. Oh, easy. Okay, I'm like. Too. I mean, it's not easy because there's a bunch <laughs> of chins in here. A lot of fat, but no, anyway. it's not that, it's just too far away. It's yeah. just so strange. Yeah. So, I wanna know if you guys can do it. Comment below if you can touch your chin to your chest. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at what you guys have done! Lexi, what have you been up to? So we taped the walls, we put like the stuff right, on no. it, and we yeah, put the like plastic on the floor. So we are ready to paint. Wow, it looks so good. It looks like you patched all these holes and covered everything. I cannot wait to see the transformation. You guys are such fast movers. High fives. London just fell on the trampoline and got a big owie on her leg. It's pretty bad. She'll be fine though. She's really tough, huh? And Lexi and Taylor colored on my face for ages. Yeah, we saw that this morning. So she has pen marker on her face from April Fools and an owie on her leg. But she's still gonna help paint because that's how awesome she is, right? Do you want to or not really? All right, here are the first rolls about to be painted. Okay, London, show us the change. The transformation starts now. What do you 
think. It's so fun. Okay, you guys, one thing I just wanna tell you right now is it is going to be so worth it for you to take your time and do quality work because yes. this might last forever on these walls. So don't be in a rush. It's not a race or a contest. Just work nice and easy because look how quickly it's going. Good job, it looks so good so far. You guys are like professionals. Okay, what are you guys doing now? We're painting the ceiling. Painting the ceiling? I didn't even know we were gonna do that. How we done. Oh my gosh! Oh, that looks good! Yeah, it looks like a Halloween costume. This is what you guys should be for Halloween. Professional painters. I honestly think it looks really good, guys. You're really lightening up the place. Fantastic. Don't let Jewel fly in here. She might stick to the wall. So the first coat we finished like a couple hours ago and we took a break so it could dry out and then my dad kind of fixed some things and then we are on the second coat. I just had to get some of the really tall places. Yeah. It looks amazing. Honestly guys, like I think it's it's I was really surprised with how good they did. You like it so far, Lexi? Do you like it better this oh, color? Yeah. Bright yeah. white. It was kind of like a yellowy color. And now it's bright white. It was like tan. Yeah, it was like beige. Oh, and then Taylor bought some hardware, like some gold hardware. So that would yeah. be so fun. To put up and like, we're gonna fix the lights. And yeah, that would be some pictures. Grandma is gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Does she even know you're doing this? I don't think that we asked her. <laughs> I hope she's okay with it. Hopefully. Thanks for watching Show My Vlogs. Chicken nuggets. We love you. Chicken nuggets. We're grateful for you. And we hope you guys are not only surviving quarantine, but, but thriving. thriving. In the quarantine. Yes. We just made that up. I know. We love you guys. Love See you, you. next time. Bye.